Hey guys, welcome to the ServiceNow world and today we will see part 22 of ServiceNow developer interview question and answer series. As you know in this series we are discussing about all the theoretical questions which, which were asked by interviewer during the interview. So without any delay let's go to the first question. So the first question is what is widget in service portal? So widgets are reusable components which makes a functionality of a portal page. Widgets defines what a portal does and what information a user sees. However, ServiceNow provides large number of baseline widgets and some of the examples like approvals, knowledge base, my request. Now we are moving to the next question. Next question is related to the CMDB. Like what is business service in CMDB and how does it relate to other CIs? So a business service in CMDB represents an IT service from a perspective of business user. It relates to other CIs by showing dependency and impact relationships, helping understand the business context of IT services. So in simple words, we can say a business service, some things like which a customer see, like how, how, how they will get the value like whatever the service they are seeing so how how will they they will get the value so that is something called business service so let's say like uh, telephone service or email service finance service so these are some kind examples of uh, business services there okay so now we are moving to the next question next question is what is scripted rest api so the scripted rest api feature allows application developers to build custom web service apis we can define service endpoints, query parameters and headers for a scripted REST API as well as scripts to manage the request and response. Basically like uh, there one more question arise here like uh, interviewer will ask like have you ever used a scripted REST API? If you say yes, so firstly they will ask what is script, scripted REST API and then they will ask where you implemented. So simple words you can if you don't want to say this answer you can say in simple words as well like uh, if you want to control uh, control the rest api uh, if you want to control the request and response from the rest api then we are using the uh, scripted rest api so that is a, like a simple answer okay so and if, if you have implemented any use case in the scripted rest api just let me know in the comment box okay so let's go to the next question next question is how to trigger rest passage I think this is the very common or we can most asked question like if someone if you say like have you used a uh, have you ever worked on integration if you say yes so they will ask which type of integration and most of the people are saying rest uh, rest integration so maybe like interview will start from this only like uh, have you heard about the rest message if you say yes then what is the syntax of uh, triggering the rest message okay so the syntax is like that like sn underscore ws dot rest message v2 and then we have to put the rest message name and then which of the method you want to call inside the rest message uh, that method you have to specify method in the sense like http method right we have five different http methods are there right which method you want to call it on. okay now we are moving to the next question so next question is like a scenario based so like if we have ACL to make field read only and we have UI policy to make it editable, what will be the result? Simple is that like if we have one, if we have one field, let's say like a email, email field be there, email field be, email field is there. Okay. And we have make the email field read only using the ACL and we have, and also we have written a UI policy on that particular email field, like it will be editable. So what will be the result? So in this case, like uh, if answer is that like a field still will be read only and it doesn't matter if UI policy is making editable or user has to pass ACL rules to gain edit access. It means that like it uh, doesn't matter whatever the, U, whatever the UI policy action has been written on UI policy, that doesn't matter. Only if they want, if the user who get, got, uh, want the access of that email field, they have to pass the ACL rules. So whatever the ACL, how the ACL we have defined that ACL rules, they have to pass it up. Okay. Let's move to the next question. Next question is what is inbound 
integration in service now so this is the like a little bit confusing like most of the people got confused during interview like what is inbound and what is outbound so it inbound integration is making call from third party application to service now service now rest api to get information from service now or create or update records simple i can say if third party is third party is creating a record creating a record or updating the record in our service now instance then it's called a inbound integration okay and if service now is creating or updating record in other app uh, other third party app then we are calling as a outbound integration okay so in last video i have asked about like what are the key benefits of implementing a cmdb in an it organization so this might be like a common question like a interview class okay we have like large cmdb is there there are so many of tables are there what is the use of that if you implement cmdb what are the benefits we are getting so in that case you have to say this answer like some benefits are like it will improve visibility into the it environment efficient and incident and problems resolution accurate change management impact analysis for changes and enhance decision making through data driven uh, insights or you can say like uh, it will help help uh, in a strategic de decision making for the for any organization okay so today's video's question is like how to prevent form submission via business rule so if you know the answer please write in the comments com comment box i'll give the answer in the next video okay till that time thank you god bless you